what is up it's your girl nia from charming lashes so in today's video as you can clearly see i am not in the lash room i am actually in my room and that's just because i wanted to record in a different space have a different vibe have my, my little lights up my little salt lamp i wanted to add a little bit of color because my lash room can be a little bit dull and just like because of this weather it's like super gloomy outside and i tried recording in that room and it just gave it a negative like i just felt super like sad in that room i don't know why <laughs> when i'm looking at the videos the background just looks gray and like boring which is why i want to decorate my room keep an eye out for that video i do plan on decorating my lash room and i want to take you guys on that journey with me so i'm so excited for that in this video i have my notebook here and i hope you guys have yours next to you i want you guys to go ahead and get your notebook out or get your phone or whatever you use to take down notes because i do have a couple of helpful tips on how you guys can gain clientele and promote yourself definitely excited to get into this video but before we begin subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you guys and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified for whenever i upload a video and yeah let's get started into this video so if you guys see me looking down it's because i'm reading the notes that i do have for you guys first one that i want to start off with is have social media so basically all you guys will really need for me in my opinion is instagram but i don't have a twitter i i'm barely on snapchat i don't even remember the password to my facebook so you definitely want to create an account for your business only so the people who follow you already know what that page is about they already know that they're going to see lash posts all the time like they don't have to worry about oh like she's she keeps posting about lashes and i'm not following her for that you get what i'm saying definitely um think about creating an account separately from your personal life and from your business life that's one of the tips that i can give you another one is hashtags hashtags are very helpful you guys once you have a video that you want to upload on your instagram you can include hashtags on them what i would advise for you guys to put in your hashtags is your location you can put a hashtag orange county lashes or hashtag lashes in orange in orange county okay so definitely keep in mind with your hashtags with every single post you do because that can get you more exposure and people who search up hashtags when they want to get their lashes done they will search up any hashtag on ig and sometimes they search up um lashes in orange county or orange county lashes and they might be able to find you and that is one way you guys can advertise yourself so another way that you guys can gain clientele is charge a reasonable price especially if you're just starting off you never want to charge so high for example 150 dollars for a classic set if you guys are just starting off especially if your work is not really up to part have a reasonable price so you can get as much clientele as possible to practice your craft that's what i did um i started off my classic sets i believe at like 60 dollars or 55 dollars and it welcomed a lot of clientele i kid you not like so many people were coming to me and they were telling me oh your prices are reasonable but at the same time i did tell them like hey i'm practicing or hey i just started off so mind you my time might not be the same time amount if you got your lashes done somewhere else so i was lashing at like four hours to five hours when i first first started so if you're starting off now go ahead and get your notebooks open and write down some of the prices you think are reasonable as well as how much you think you would pay somebody to do your lashes if they just started off don't try to go over a hundred dollars if you just started doing classic sets or if you just started doing volume sets start at a reasonable price and then work your way up when you feel like you perfected your craft okay another thing that i can tell you is take your time on your clients if you are taking your time on your clients and making sure you're giving the best of the best when you are lashing them they're going to appreciate that and they're going to see that in your work Meaning, as soon as they see that their lashes are looking bomb, they're feeling themselves, they know they look good, and you know you did a good job on them, that's going to make them feel so, so good to the point where they're going to tell everybody about it. I promise you guys, when I work on my clients and I know that they look good and they're feeling themselves, they love taking selfies and they love to tag me. Another tip that I can give you guys is to create business cards. If you haven't already, please, please, please 
create some business cards. You guys can go on vistaprint.com and get an affordable price. Even if you are just starting off and you're not sure that you're even gonna have a lot of people to pass it to, get the 50 count. You know, just start off small, but definitely have business cards because for one, that's gonna make your business look super professional. And for two, you are advertising yourself. So every client you get, Go ahead and give them some of your business cards, especially if your work is looking up to par. When they go out in the world and go to restaurants, go out to eat, go shopping, do their groceries, or go hang out with their friends, those people will ask them like, hey, where'd you get your lashes done? Or your lashes look super cute. And they can easily just pull out your business cards and be like, yes, my girl did this. My girl Nia from Chiming Lashes did this. Here's her card, search her up. She has social media and everything. It's on the business card. Like they don't even have to hassle and be like, oh, I forgot her her name, but I'll send you the link or something like that. No, they have your business card. They will pass it out for free. And that is one way that you guys can get your clientele. Another way to promote yourself is to use your clients, literally. Even if you have, I wanna say like at least three clients, three solid clients, those can be your advertisers and you may not even know it. If you're working on those clients and you know that your work is up to par, and they love your work before they leave say oh don't forget to tag me when you take some pics or something or if you do take pics and post them tag me so I can post you on my page and trust me nine out of ten times they always post my work they're they're so they're super super sweet they always post my work they always tag me um, and that in turn gains helps you gain clientele because now they're posting to a different audience that you may not even have and those people that are following them are going to follow you in return and they're going to be messaging you saying hey i like um you did one of my friends uh lashes i'm interested in getting my lashes done how are how much are they and once you give them that price done deal especially if the price is reasonable they're definitely going to want to book with you Another tip that I can give you guys is to watermark your videos. Every time you complete a set, don't just let your clients leave. Take pictures, guys. Like, make sure you're taking pictures. Make sure the lighting is good. So I started off with an old, old iPhone. The screen was cracked, but my camera wasn't. My camera was good. So basically, before I took pics or anything, I would just go ahead, take my shirt, wipe the camera, make sure the lighting is good because I have a ring light and I'd make sure the ring light is directly onto their face kind of and then I would just record or I would take pictures so make sure you're taking pics at nice angles and everything like that and once you feel like you got some good footage of your work some good pics and everything watermark it so there is this app called watermark plus it's right here it's free you don't have to purchase the app it's totally free for iphone users i don't know about androids um because i have an iphone but it's a free app for me and basically i just uh i would download the app and like every time i finish a video and before i want to post it i watermark it so that's definitely something that i feel like you guys should uh keep in mind or write down is to watermark all your pictures and all your videos before you post it on your page because you never know if somebody wants to share your page your picture or your video and say her work is amazing i love her work or if somebody decides to repost your video or your picture so you always want to watermark it trust me it's the smartest idea ever every time somebody comes across that video they know that it's from you it's your work and nobody else's so definitely keep in mind watermark all your pictures and all your videos that is definitely like the number one tip I can give you, especially when you're posting. Another thing that I can tell you is to stay active on the social media, especially on your Instagram. If you are starting off on IG and you are starting off your business, you want to be active and not only just posting book me or did you book your, your appointments with me today or anything like that. Stay active with your clients. You wanna interact with the people that are on your Instagram so they can feel comfortable and ask you questions. What I like to do is if I don't feel like posting an actual video on my page, um, which is basically all I do is I only post videos on my page. I'm, it's very rare for me to post an actual picture. I like to save those for my statuses. So um, what I like to do is record just a quick little boomerang or uh, take a picture or a video that I don't feel like I wanna put on my page. I will put those on my statuses so if you didn't see it while you were scrolling on IG you're gonna click on my status and you're gonna see it and I mostly get a lot of views on my statuses people love watching it especially because I'm so interactive with my clients or my followers but one cool uh, thing I like to do on IG is polls like ask questions 
And something that you guys can keep in mind is ask your, your clients, what kind of lashes do they like? Are they dramatic or are they natural? Um, you can do a poll like that or you can ask them, uh, are you guys interested in a flash sale? Yes or no? And 100% uh, you're most likely gonna get yes because people love sales. Then right after that, literally the next day, go ahead and post, I don't know, like $70 sets on all sets from now throughout this week, book ASAP. Another tip of advice that I can give you guys is if you are in school or in college and it's your first day or um, even if it's not your first day, go ahead and reach out. Talk to all the females in their class, in your class. Talk to all the males, ask them if they have any sisters, any uh, girlfriends, any, um, female friends and and just let them know that you're a lash tech most professors usually tell you to introduce yourself to the class that's just something that they always do to like break the ice in the class so what i would like to do is every single time they would you know make you stand up or just talk about yourself first thing i would like to say right off the bat is hey i'm dania you guys um you can call me nia but i am a lash tech you know so i would let them know that i am a certified lash tech i do lashes um i work for myself you basically use that time to advertise yourself so literally i kid you not after that so many females or so many people would come up to me and be like oh like how's how's lashing or do you like it um i'm interested in getting my lashes done how much do you charge where do you work at do you have any business cards um so you definitely want to keep that in mind if you're nervous just try it on that first day of school you might not know how many clients you can get when i tell you i got so many people who um knew me around my my classroom of me being a lash tech they would tell other people so it's definitely something that you guys should keep in mind especially if you work anywhere if you if you have another job and you're working retail or anything like that talk about it that that might just be something to talk about and let people know like hey guys i'm a certified lash tech now so that's basically it on the tips. I hope you guys found that super helpful. But before we end this video, I want you guys to make sure you start your social media. Like if you don't feel like you're not ready or anything, just start it. Now's the right time to start, it, especially because you're on quarantine and mostly everybody's on their phones because they have nothing to do. So go ahead and start that Instagram. Start with those hashtags. Look on Pinterest and look at motivational quotes. I love posting those on my status. Write down ideas in your notebook. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments down below or just DM me I'm gonna try my best to get back to you guys um, but before we end this video I did have a cute little idea that I wanted to do um, not in every video but I think like at least once a month or so yeah I think I'm gonna do it once a month and basically I want to leave you guys with this let me show you guys my camera is about to die so I want to do this quick so basically I'm just gonna ask you guys to tell me a goal you want to achieve for the month and I'm gonna do that every single month go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to achieve for this month so just comment down a goal that you would like to achieve and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just be reading them and commenting on them excited to see what you guys have or what other goals you guys would want to achieve for the month and that's about it so go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video comment down below what you liked or what goal you want to achieve for the month i know we are in the middle of april but better late than never so yeah just go ahead and comment down below what you would like to achieve for this month and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so you guys can be notified for whenever i upload a video i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys